What's up, guys? Um, not a full day at the shop today, man. We're uh, adding a sneaker event. I know you guys might think, oh, I thought they weren't the event, guys. We're just going to check it out. Um, had a Saturday off, so we're going to go check it out, see what's going on. Logan's holding it down at the shop. Shout out to Logan. Um, but yeah, man, we'll see. Uh, I have a couple pairs on my list. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell y'all. I need the black CPFM Air Forces. I really want those. I need the black and white 85s that just came out. Really want those. And there's a couple other ones that I'd maybe get. Pure Money 4s. If I can find those, I'd like those. Um, so we're really just personal shopping again like we did at SneakerCon. But if we do find something for the store for a good price, I'm always in for a good flip, man. You know what I mean? Can never go wrong with a good little flip. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully they have some heat in there, though. I really don't want to see a bunch of pandas, bro. I really want to see some good, like decent stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping we didn't just drive out here for nothing. Um, but we're going to we're gonna be uh, optimistic. And we're going to see what we can find. And we'll keep you guys updated on uh, if we can find any personals. See if we can find some heat, too. I'll show you guys that, too. Let's get into it. Daniel's here. Y'all got to be waiting out here forever, bro. Let's do fit checks real quick. Uh, vault hoodie, of course. LA hat, juice pants, your plats. Let's step out, stalling some kids out here. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Daniel. Uh, San Francisco beanie, uh, 2022 box logo, and orange lobsters. I didn't want to wear the vault hoodie because I don't want to look like a minion, you know. So oh, okay. Bro, I've got it on too. I got it. Bro, bro. show show the on feet at least, bro. Got it, boss. Black cause. Full Shout squad, out. stepping out. Oh, we're here. No turning back now. No turning back now. We'll see what we can find, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, these are on the list. Yeah, these were, but it's a size 10. I have the receipt for those. I bought the Supreme SBs off it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Clean pair. What'd you want on these? 17. Uh, if, they were, if they were a 12, I'd consider it. I know, bro. For sure. But these are on the list, too, if we find them. Got some heat here. Just got here, but it's starting a little bit, a little slim already. So <laughs> we're still gonna stay optimistic, but it's got some heat. What size is the CPFM? 12 and 13, 12 and a half and 13. 12 and a half. Mm. Mm. Uh, the SB Travis SB. 12. 12. Can I see those? Are they used? Nothing on my table. Oh, okay. nothing. My bad. How did we know? Huh? How did we know who's gonna? Oh, of course. They repainted. Yeah, you can tell. It's got like a glisten to it. Should be like that. Should be like a mat. Are these yours, bro? Are these yours? What you want for? A thousand? Not too bad. Do you have box? Yeah. Not that bad. They definitely repainted though. They did the right shade of pink. I will give them that. You ever painted them? It's not bad for a thousand. OG box. I have to come back to these. We'll see. Personals first. Obviously, not my, my size. It's a 10, so 10 and a half. Six? I could do like eight, seven. Because you, you could tell where like it was flaking away and they just decided to paint it. Yeah, I, that's my first pair. Of yeah, no, I feel you, bro. And then I, I was about to sell them for a thousand. And then they that would have like, been a nice little look. Yeah. I was like, damn. Feels like I think this has been restitched too. This inner liner. Really? Yeah, because this isn't the right shade. I don't know. I got the best. I bought them. What'd you pay? I bought them. Eight it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. But you can tell the padding's been redone. Like I don't know. You can feel it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'd offer six for them, just because they're like they definitely have some heavy restoration on them. I could do eight, but that much. Not for you. I might come back, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Well, what's that? What do you, what'd you want for it? What do you want for it? That's not bad. It's almost big, bro. Do you have a 12 in these? Well, it's big. Do I make it with that? Five's not bad, dude. It's not bad at all. Try it on. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can find my size. Are you gonna be here all day? Nah, probably like two, Okay, me too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, if I can't find my size, I'll probably come back. That's not bad. I appreciate it, bro. The size is the 85, bro. 
Uh, 12? Or is it 10 and a half? Do you have a 12? Oh, okay. I need a 12. What do y'all got him at? What do y'all got him at? I appreciate it, bro. Same price we got him at the shop. 385, so. Yeah, not too bad, I guess. If I asked that guy to try them on, I don't want to be that guy in the event, dude. Can I try your shoes on? You should. You think I should? Your theory is fine. They will be too big. Daniel said that they're going to be too big. They will be too big. We're gonna, we're probably gonna go back for it. Cause I doubt we're gonna find an 11 here or an 11 again. I doubt it. So we're gonna see. That is 12. 12. It is. I'm not paying that though. That's not happening. How much did you want for these, bro? Uh, they're at 420. Are you negotiable on that? Uh, a little bit. What's your best? I need for tope. For personal. What's the best on that panda? 425 is the best. All good. Only a hundred over market. Not too bad. <laughs> this is why I don't come here, guys. Y'all wonder why, but. Four twenty-five. Ask is three twenty-five. DS. What do you ask on the rust pinks? What? What do you ask on the rust pinks? Uh, four. four. Pretty dope. Can I see him? That's why I feel like balling on him. It feels like a twenty sixteen black toe. That's what it feels like. It's a dope pair. Appreciate it though. So for the best candidates, probably those CPFM forces. We found 185 for 100 over market. That's why we don't come here, guys, typically, because literally these dudes are pricing higher than we price at the store, bro. Like we price 85s right now, 375, 385. They're selling up for 425. So it's a little demoralizing when you come out here and you know what I mean. Lost and found for yeah, lost and found for 600 everywhere. Pandas for 300. Like we're not even pricing. We don't. We don't even price close to that, bro. Like it's crazy, but. Uh, so far, the CPFMs. That's probably looking. That's probably looking like the best candidate because I actually really want those. And if the 12 is all right, I'm gonna ask to try them on. I hope he. I hope he does. I hope he lets me. But that's probably the best candidate so far. We're gonna keep walking around see if we can find some 85s because I think that's a gettable shoe. I feel like that shouldn't be a hard one to get. Um, but we're not paying 425 because I wouldn't even sell them for that. So yeah, we're not paying that. Um, be smart when you buy, guys. Even for personal, just be smart about it. Uh, so we'll keep y'all updated. Hopefully we can find them. It's been a little rough so far. It's just, it's tough, man. We'll see. We'll keep y'all updated. The Found King himself right here. <laughs> Hi, Raul. <laughs> bro, I really miss this guy, man. Everyone needs the mischief big boots, bro. I'm sorry. Because, and if you wear them, you're criminal. But if you put them as display, how cool will those look in the corner of your crib? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we just went to the table over there. Uh, I'm an SB guy, but more like the GR stuff, not necessarily the hype stuff. I know I'm wearing orange lobsters right now, but uh, I, I wear a lot of the GR stuff, literally nine times out of 10. Uh, went to a table over there, cause I'm looking for the Wolf Gray Dunks, the one that just dropped on sneakers. Uh, guy over there had my size, size 12. Uh, he wants 275 for it, which is a absolutely abysmal price. Um, <laughs> if you look here, my order details, I purchased a pair on StockX last week for $170. And it came out to 209 after taxes, fees, shipping, and all that. And I got them in five days. All right? Just be smart about the price that you pay. Don't pay these ridiculous prices of these events. Don't get desperate. Don't get desperate. It's, it seriously is like a big thing. So a lot of people get desperate and overpay. Like, what, what were they at? What's the ask on them right now? Like 217 So I'd put them at the store. I'd put them for 250 probably. Ask is 217 it was this yeah, I'd probably put it for 250. I have a pair in my car, I'll sell you. I'll buy them. And they got a, they were eBay out this guy. They got the tag on them right there. What's your best? I mean, shit, bro, like I said, if you got a serious offer, I mean, I'd do like 16, 17. I'd offer 12. Couldn't go that low, bro, could you do like 15? I love 12. If not, it's all good. I could go that low. Okay. Bro. If you see me later and you change your mind, yeah, yeah. let me know, bro. Yeah, sure. I appreciate you. Yeah, you too. I paid 12 for mine, so. I paid 12.50 for mine, signed by Tiffany Diamond himself. Love Daniel's saying, as a low, this shoe would be dope. It's a good upper color. Whoa. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Random. It's at 100, it's not bad.
Still wearable. 13. I bought for the shop. Not very good customer service. Not even looking at me. <laughs> hey, uh, are you negotiable on them? No. No? Okay. You wouldn't do 80? No. Okay. All right, get your bread, bro. Here you go. Appreciate you, man. I hate to be that guy. Um, uh, I hate to be like, can I try a bar? You're not even mine. Uh, yeah, give me one sec. That's a Daniel shoe right there. You sold these to us already. It's too small. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. This is my shit right here. Dailies, just beaters. Love it. My black pair is already cooked, and I've only had them for like two those or three the, weeks. Those are the kids that beat me in Madden over there. Oh. For the store credit, I just saw them. <laughs> yeah. I want to get the bottom of these all black forces dirty. <laughs> if that's Adidas, it's not it's Nike. Oh wow, it's all crooked too. Center swoosh. <laughs> Center swoosh sock. <laughs> this is my. This is actually my new pack. Oh, okay. Can you do better? Can you do any better than five? I think I beat you. Probably. It's a hard shoe to come around. It's hard to find. Can't do any better. 450. Zell, now. Give Zell. Okay, I'll take him. Just found something. A little roomy, but I can make it work. I appreciate you letting me try them all, bro. What was that? Thanks for letting me try them on. Yeah, no problem. I sent it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, man. Uh, do you want to shout your Instagram or anything? Go to YouTube. Uh, second chance on Instagram. Two N D C H A M T E dot T X. Dope. Appreciate you, man. That was a good price. I appreciate it. There you go. Oh, great one. Take care. Take it easy. Take it. Taking a quick little uh, wing intermission or burger intermission. I don't know. We're gonna get some lunch, but I don't know, man. The vibes are kind of weird in there. I'm not gonna lie. People are kind of kind of rude, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. People are just kind of like not looking at you when you're trying to talk to them and like. Just kind of rude when they do answer. I don't know, man. Sneakers are in a weird spot right now. That's why here at the vault, we're trying to bring it back to the fun, nice culture that used to be. Because when I used to come to these events, man, we used to have so much fun, but it's just like kind of toxic energy and stuff in there. I'm not going to lie. Um, Everybody has a fucking ego now. Yeah, everyone has an ego and like a shit look on their face. And like, <laughs> I don't know, you know what I mean? It just feels like no, like they don't even want to be there selling their product, which makes no sense. Like, why are you even there if you're going to be miserable? So. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, that guy was cool though, he let me try them on. Um, and they were dead stock, the CPFM, we did cop these. I've been wanting them. Uh, they fit a little smaller than regular Air Forces, I will say. They have like a lot of leather padding on the inside and stuff. Um, so they're all right. A little big, but I'll make it work for it. It was a good price, honestly. Yeah, that was the, probably the only pair that I asked about that wasn't over Ask yeah. on either app. Uh, ask on Goat was 1500 and Ask on StockX was like 590. So, I mean, that was the only, that was actually a solid price. Um, Shout out to that guy. Uh, I think we shouted out his Instagram. But yeah, man, getting a lot of toxic energy in there, man. I don't know. I'm not liking it. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> Taxing tax prices and toxic energy. It's not a good mix. Um, so we're gonna go eat some lunch, and we'll let you guys know if we can. We're gonna go back and start try to still buy the 85s that I want because I still want those. But I'm still really not trying to pay again 100 over market, and that's what it's looking like. So we'll keep you guys updated. But uh, so far, not so good. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> And uh, back on Matt, we're talking about like people just being weird and all of that. Toxic. Um, I had found another guy had the Wolf Gray SBs I'm looking for. I asked him, hey, what sizes do you have? He said, 200. <laughs> I said, okay, bet, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. Uh, Round two, we're going back. Uh, nice and full. Nice, nice full stomach. Fucking drunk. Great burger. Rolls. <laughs> Rolls. <laughs> if, the, if the camera's a little shaky, Roll got, Roll got a, might have slipped a couple. Had a beer with 10% alcohol. It was, <laughs> it was good. So if the camera's a little shaky, just give him a break. Yeah. Um, we'll let y'all know, man. Hopefully it's better the second time. Maybe people are a little bit more desperate for some better prices. Um, so we're about to see. <laughs> Negotiable? Nope. Did you run 550 on them? I'll be in the middle of these chips. I run 550, I can tell you right now. Do that? Oh yeah, that's cool. These are for the shop, I already have them, but 550 is good, I'm not gonna lie. Under payout. Under sell now payout. Payout was 560. So, what did you pay? 
550. Oh, yeah. Really good. Well, I'll be putting them at that price, that's for sure. They'll be for sale for 1800. <laughs> um, and lowest offer I got so far is one at 450, sir. 450? Yeah, lowest offer. Size 10 and a half, sir. Yeah, I get your bread, bro. That's pretty good. That's, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about this one? That's one is 270, sir. Stock X 250 right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably pass, bro. I'm good, though. Sure. I appreciate what it. What size you got for Union? 12. Ooh, that's yeah. big. Yeah. All right. Appreciate Thank it, man. You. Thank you, bro. Have a good day, man. Yeah. So, at least a couple doves, uh, my personal CPFM, and then uh, we're able to get these just now for under payout. Pretty dope. The payout was 564. Um, I got it for 550. Really rare size too, so it's really good. Honestly, I'm, I was not expecting this, but like I said, I'll never, I'll never turn down an, an easy flip, right? I'll never turn that down. So. These will be for sale at the shop, size 12. If anyone needs them, DS size 12. They'll be 1800. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they, that would be a good price. But yeah, we got, we got a size 12 taupe. Let's keep pushing. Hopefully, find the 85s, man. <laughs> These guys beat me in Madden. Do you guys remember them? How did you buy the first one? Uh, this is a personal, the uh, CPFM. Did you guys say you guys want to go to Sneaker Con or just Just testing the waters, dipping our toes really in the waters. Seen that much, though. Yeah, it's trying to find the OG Travis lows, but like everyone's taxing. It's pretty mid, yeah. not gonna lie. Best of luck on your ende endeavors, gentlemen. Best of luck. Yeah. Start seeing these in hand. Need them. Double up, probably, not gonna lie. Quality's yeah. really nice. Others really strong. Thank you, bro. Super dope. Seven Y. How much? Two forty on the seven Y. Was you two hundred flat on those? Huh? Two hundred flat? No. A bit. I'm not gonna lie. They're kind of cool. I feel like these. I just the only thing I don't love is the purple here. Really? I got mine on. They're like the black and white. I feel like the purple sets it off. You like it? I mean, with the right fit, maybe. I'm just the all black shoes have grown on me a little bit. I don't know why. I like I like I like all black shoes with like a little bit of contrast. I like that. Like with the, with the white laces, they look really clean. Okay, with the white laces. That's what I'm saying. Like it just yeah. pops. Yeah. It's a dope shoe, man. Homie's got the red lobsters on. Team two unicorn size. Hey, this, this is one of our one of our good clients right here, man. One of our good clients. Only shop. Only shop here. <laughs> Sold us some heat. Took some heat from us too. See the size swap for him for the core purples, right? Yeah. What do you have? Well, I got the uh, Tom Sags, Powder Blues, and Shadow 2.0. Powder Blues? Yeah. University Blues? No, the, the, ones, the low ones. Oh, the Powder Blues. Yeah. That's the one of those. We want 20 for you. Oh, you have to throw the for me in there. Like it's. <laughs> Try to butter me up. He is a good client. Uh, size, what size is it? I've been buying a lot lately. What size is it? Uh, size nine. Do a bill? I got you. Go to that? If, if you take the some size for a bill. Oh, what color? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. at least take the Shadow Super No. What do you add on? Nine and a half. 230? Bro, return those Tom Sacks. Did yeah, I, I'm gonna return it. Just return it, bro. If I don't sell it today, I'm just gonna return it. It's like 120. You know? You said 230 on the shallow 2.0? 230 on the. So that'd be like. That'd be like 230. Size it? Nine and a half. How? What's on the box? Desktop. Oh yeah, you told me like around 220. I think that's what you told me last time. Markets, last sale's 227. I run 180. 220? They offered me 220 over there. Who? Over there? Go get that, bro. That's market. I'll get that. I'll go get that. Right. I can't. I can't. I do a bill for the bill. Okay, I'll take them. Right. DS, right? The powders are DS, right? Yeah. Okay. okay sorry. Pretty brutal out here, but we're pushing through. Uh, we just got another transaction. The powder blue ones from our boy. He comes in a lot. Shops does a lot. Hundred bucks. I can move them. I'll probably put them like 180 something, make 80 bucks. But it's brutal, man. It's a brutal event. You're not going to see another event video for a while, not going to lie. <laughs> another transaction we didn't get on camera. Super clean, really good price. I mean, can't pass that up. OGL, 
It's been needed him. Nothing but heat for this guy. Nothing yeah, but heat. The unicorn Nothing size, right? Huh? The unicorn size? Yeah, that's pretty rare. We yeah. have a 13 at the store, but not OGL. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I had him higher too. What'd you get up? A thousand? Yeah. yeah. That's really good, man. In that condition, that's insane. That. That's, that's really good. We met this guy in the event, he's trying to sell us some stuff. 180? Mm -hmm. Are you negotiable? No. <laughs> it's probably fine. Like That's a deal, bro. Right now for $175. I'm not even going to check market, I'm just going to pay you. What a good guy. Just getting the man paid. Got a... It's an interesting day, for sure. How was it for you, Dan? Uh, honestly, it's pretty mid. Um, I'm even like into like... A lot of the GRSBs and like a lot of GR stuff and there was literally like only one shoe in there that I was actually interested in. Uh, I was looking for Wolf Grey SB, a guy wanted way over market for it and then nobody had a size 12 uh, Syracuse Dunk. So again, yeah, I already told you I got you on that pair if you want it. Two, he said run, he said you run me 250. Check market, everybody. Bro, we'll pop a picture of market up. That's pretty good. So I'll run that for you. That's what I paid, I'm pretty sure. All right, guys. Well, we're done. We're heading home. Um, to the shop. To the shop, yeah. My home. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a long day. We got a decent... The one I'm really most excited about is the CPFM because I definitely did not think I was going to be leaving with those. I thought I would definitely be leaving with some 85s, but somehow, no. I left the CPFMs, which are like probably 10 times as rare. So, um, cool, I guess. I got those for honestly a solid price. And then I got the Topaz 4s were a really good price, under payout. And then I got the powder blue ones for under payout. I know it's not what you guys are used to seeing on YouTube when you go to these event videos. $20,000 cash out, <laughs> sorry. Um, we don't go to these events to cash out like that. We kind of just go to shop around for personal. And like I said before we started, if there's a way to make a buck, I'll do it. Um, never gonna turn down a opportunity to make a buck, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, again, our, our goal wasn't to go cash out for the store. We're plenty stocked up at the store right now, but we did it. We we're able to find a couple good pairs for them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of why we don't go to events, guys. I mean, this is the exact reason. They're just extremely mid. Um, everyone's selling the same stuff. Everyone wants a hundred over ask on stuff. I mean, like, guys, people are charging more than what we even have our pairs at. And I mean, like, a lot more, like $75 to $100 more than what we sell them for. So... In order for us to, as a store, to not have to charge crazy prices, we have to buy at a certain price to make that decent enough, decent enough margin. Um, so cashing out at these events just isn't worth it for us, the way we like to price. For other stores it is because they don't care about their prices, they can put them at whatever they want and if their customers are going to pay it, that's how it is, but I don't like to do that. I have certain morals when it comes to pricing stuff, so for me it's just like, if I'm not going to be able to make the margin I'm comfortable at. I'm not gonna come cash out at these events and have to go to the store and price it 150 over market. Um, that's kind of the, just the way I look at it. But hey man, to each their own. Um, again, it was fun just to go hang out with the boys. I saw a lot of familiar faces there, so that's always cool. Say what's up to you guys. A lot of guys came up to us and said, hey, watch the YouTube. So that's always cool, man. Um, we appreciate anyone that did come up to us. And if you ever do see us out in the wild, man, come, come give us a holler, we don't bite. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really happy I found the CPFMs, and um, yeah, that's about all I gotta say. What do you think about Earl? I think what was the worst part about this shit was like, people were trying to resell stuff that's just sitting. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, people are trying to make a, a buck on anything, bro. Like, And not even a buck, like 50, 60, Yeah, yeah. You could literally walk to Nike or go into Nike and get it. Yeah. But I saw some really beat up black air force mids not even a collab or anything i didn't even want to ask but they had that at, at the table yeah it was not it was jordan not dub zero it was like who the fuck is in demand for that you know like that's all i'm saying this is why we don't we only go to sneaker cons because they have the actual heat like these kind of little events just have all this random stuff exactly bro you know how many peach cream dunk lows i saw for 250 dollars <laughs> that's a i swear to god they're sitting at the nike across yeah. the street from the vault right now for retail and i don't go and buy them because they're going for retail why would i yeah. i'm not gonna go try to buy them at nike and then go to tax at our store like that's just that's no 
that's not cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not fun. That's not. And I feel like we're being very honest with the viewers because other resellers will candy coat it where, yeah. they, you know, it's like, nah. We, we kind of showed you. What yeah, we're honest like. with it. Yeah, but we're, we're not going to go there and be like, oh, we sold $25,000. We cashed out $20,000. I mean, this is just the raw way it is, honestly. I mean, this is how it is for me. I, it, and again, this is why we don't go to these events. I know I've probably said that a million times, but there you go. <laughs> like, literally, like. <laughs> This is why, I mean, we wanted to switch it up for you guys also because we, again, we don't like to do the, we don't want to do the full day at the shop every single time. I know you guys love it, but just wanted to switch it up a little bit for you guys, but. Face it a rock. Yeah. In the culture. Yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know if you guys can tell at all, but like we, we really do try to keep a good level to where we can be satisfied with the margin we make and the customer can be satisfied with the purchase they make with us. I don't like people leaving our store feeling like, what did I just do? Yeah. I like them leaving like, oh that was fair you know what i mean like i and that's that's kind of how i like to be so yeah like i was just saying a second ago it's just not worth it for us to go cash out at these events for market and then have to sell for 150 over market you know what i mean especially when i have all you guys that are keep bringing me pairs that are really good for really good prices i why, why even travel out here you know what i mean i have i have we have a lot of great clientele that we really appreciate by the way you guys if any of you stop by and sell us some stuff we really do appreciate it i mean it keeps us afloat so anyone that sells us pairs Please keep bringing us stuff, and uh, we'll keep bringing you the content and the, the fair prices, man, if you, as long as you guys can provide it for us as well. But all in all, it was fun. It was a fun day. You know what I mean? It was fun to get out of the get out of the house and the vault for a little bit and go shop around. Um, but let us know in the comments what you guys thought about the, the event video. I know I've been talking for a while, but let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the event videos. If you guys want to see more of them, we can go. Um, I mean, we can. If, if there's ever ones that, we're op like, we're, that work in our schedule, we can go if you guys want to see them. Um, yeah, but just let us, let us know. I think there's a, I think there's a lot of things wrong with the sneaker community right now. Honestly, like, it's sad because I when I used to go to this man, it was not like this. It was not toxic. It wasn't. It was fun. Like, very little respect. Let's shut. Yeah, up. no, no respect for anyone. People are just. Raul had a really good point earlier. He said like, nobody, nobody at any table respects you as an as an actual buyer. Like they think you're just there to waste their time. Yeah, it's like, if you're. Yeah, you're gonna lose out on sales treating people like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's crazy. Like, literally, you just go up to anybody and they're like, you ask how much? 200. Uh, they look back right back down at their phone, like, bro, come on. Like, yeah, like you just brought all your stuff out here just to be an asshole. Like, <laughs> like what? Like, you just drove out here, packed all your stuff up in a U Haul just to be a dick. Like, yeah. it's weird, bro. But, I mean, that's, I mean, that's kind of where sneakers are at right now. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird market. Like I said earlier, where we walk into the restaurant, the vault's trying to, trying to combat against all that man we really are trying to bring somewhat of a fair and fun market back to it because that's that's the market i grew up in that's what i had fun doing it's just i feel like a lot of the fun's getting sucked out of it right now with a lot of people that have big egos and just very little respect yeah little respect and people skills like it's just weird i don't know but y'all let us know in the comments what y'all think about events <laughs> If y'all hey if y'all if y'all go to them make your bread do it bro you know what I mean like get get your money where you can but let us know in the comments what y'all thought of the video and let us know in the comments what y'all think about sneaker events nowadays I'd love to hear seriously I'd love to hear some discussion down there. Hey guys, I'll wrap it up for the uh, little event venture we just went on. Um, let us know in the comments what y'all thought. Again, if you guys want to see some different videos other than full at the shops, let us know. Like I said last video. We're down to do it for y'all. Um, and until next time, episode 26, a full day at the shop. We'll see y'all then. Subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't already. Later, guys. Logan?